Hello everybody, Andrea Trowski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So let's talk about your internship or your externship. You know, depending on where you live, you might have to do that either before your program or after your program. So I remember I had to do my internship that they had called it for my dental assisting class. So I took the dental assisting program and then I needed a certain number of hours to do the dental assisting um, in an, in an office um, and I do remember I needed I don't remember the exact amount of hours but I had to work in a dental office free of charge um, and just learn as much as I could for about a month um, I remember working Monday to Thursday because they were not open on Fridays and it was full day so it was nine to five um, and that's just kind of what you had to do in order to graduate okay and it is such a good idea because especially if you've never worked in a dental office before, it does help to have that. And it, it just makes you a lot more comfortable as well when you do start to work in the office. Because even I remember, you know, learning from the textbook is one thing, learning from your teachers, learning from your classmates, learning, you know, taking the test, taking the exam, all of that. But as soon as you actually are hands on, learning something in the office, it's so much more, I guess, useful for you. Trust me, I didn't um, realize, as silly as this may sound, but I did, I, I did not realize how much I did not know until I took my internship. Um, and let me just kind of talk to you guys about that a little bit. So depending on the, on the office where you are, it might be a little bit different. <clears throat> um, excuse me. But what I did was I just asked um, the dentist that I had had since I was a kid. I just simply said to her at one of my cleanings, um, I said, hey, I'm in the dental assisting program. I'm almost done. I need to find an office that will allow me to just kind of um, watch them, learn. Um, you may have to sign a couple of things, you know, to make sure that you feel confident that I could do dental assisting outside the office. And she was awesome. She was like, yeah, sure. That sounds perfect. Um, I know other um, students in my class, they had to ask the school to find a place for them for whatever um, reason, because some offices just don't have the time to sit there and train you. But how I see it is it's kind of like free labor in a way because they don't have to pay you. Um, you can't do the actual um, duties per se, you know, because you're not an actual dental assistant, but you can help by cleaning the lab, by setting up the room, you know, cleaning up the room, things like that. So how I see it is it's, it's good for the offices to help you out and they don't have to pay you and you do learn so much. But um, anyway, so I remember, you know, you don't know what to expect. So my first day, I was nervous. I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to look stupid. Um, I was just happy to just sit there and watch because you don't know what to expect. If you've, if you've never worked in an office before, you don't know anything, right? Like you learn things in school, but you don't know what things look like even, right? So I remember... Um, my first day, I was just comfortable to just sit and watch. So I do remember they had a dental um, assistant who was in charge of the sterilizing area. So she, she sort of showed me around first because the dental assistants and the dental hygienists have patients, right? So they can't actually stop what they're doing to show you. But if they have somebody who's in charge of the um, sterilizing, they have more time. So she, so, um, she was able to show me, you know, how they put um, dirty instruments through, um, how to set up the rooms with the clean ones, how to um, clean up the rooms after patients. So like she was awesome. She was able to show me all of that. Plus I could ask um, plenty of um, questions too. So I remember seeing, you know, trays for cleanings, trays for a composite filling, you know, let's say trays for um, extractions, trays for just all kinds of things. And I remember saying to her like, oh, like, can you explain to me all of these trays and what the instruments are? Because I did learn them in school, but it would just help, you know, for you to um, teach them to me. So she was awesome. Like she taught me so much. Um, I remembered helping her set up the rooms um, for, for the assistants and the hygienists, um, clean up the rooms um, after that, especially if they were behind. I remember seating patients as well. Um, I remembered um, filing charts. Like it was just really, really helpful. And then after you're done all of that, you 
start to work in an office and you're like, okay, this actually isn't as nerve wracking as I thought it would be because now you have experience. Um, so I probably watched for a day or two, so not a lot. Um, so if you're planning to just watch for a month, that won't happen. And if that's all you want to do, then this probably isn't the position for you. You know, ask questions, you guys. You might be nervous, you might be not sure, but ask questions. Do not be afraid to ask questions. And you're not learning anything by simply watching, okay? I totally understand you wanting to watch the first day, maybe the second day, but then that's it. You have to get in there. Um, I remembered um, actually assisting the dentist probably after three days or four days. I was nervous, okay, you guys? I was nervous. I remember exactly I was assisting her with um, a composite procedure, and one of the things that she said to me was, you are doing excellent, but you pass the instruments too slowly. You know, you have to take it, pass it, and put it in my hand, not like really, really slow, right? But if she hadn't had told me that, I wouldn't have known. So I was like, oh my gosh, okay, awesome, thank you. So then from there, I was passing them. It was easy, it was no problem. So she did help me so much. I remembered um, her teaching me how to mix um, certain things, how to rinse, you know, properly. She would show me how to hold the suction a certain way. She was so, so helpful. Um, and I learned a lot from them. Plus every assistant will have something else to say. You know, every assistant will be able to teach you something else. Um, even now, we have students come in, um, not often because we are a busy practice, but we do have students come in maybe twice a year. And you can tell the ones that want to learn and the ones that are just sitting there doing nothing. You know, the worst thing is if you're on an internship and you show up late, you take a lunch for too long, you sit there and watch, you don't ask questions, you know, things like that. Obviously, please show up on time. Make sure your uniform's, you know, ironed. It looks nice. Um, don't be late, obviously. Um, you know, just help out as much as you can and don't stand around and do nothing. You know, um, the dentist might say something to you like, okay, for this procedure, it's kind of complicated. Um, you might not learn a lot um, from this. See if anybody else needs your, you know, help, right? That's fine. Ask the um, other assistants, ask the hygienist, ask anybody if they need your help. Don't just stand around and do nothing because you're not helping anybody and you're not helping your, yourself either, you know, because it's a good idea to learn. Even depending on the office um, where you are, they might have um, all of their charts might be on the computer. They might be paper. They, mu they might be um, a combination ask for help have them show you how all of that um works so when you are actually in an office you you're a lot more confident because it does help to be confident there is nothing worse than being nervous being anxious and not being confident but your first time of course in an office you will be um feeling all of that and that's normal but your internship is amazing so make, I guess, the most use out of it. For hygiene, I didn't have to do that. I don't know if it was just because my school, you didn't have to do that, but I was kind of glad that I didn't have to because I was a dental assistant first, so I didn't feel like I would really learn um, anything, and I did work in the same office too. But I guess depending on where, um, where you live, um, and which school you're going to, you might do an internship for your dental hygiene, but I find it's just mainly for assisting. So if this is you and you're about to do your internship, don't be nervous. You will learn so much, honestly. Um, after your time, you'll think to yourself, oh my God, I learned so much in that time, more than I felt I learned in my entire school program. That's what I said. I felt I knew nothing almost. And then having to actually be hands-on was huge, especially for taking impressions, may I add, that was amazing. Um, to just kind of see how it's supposed to be done because it's nice to see everything how it's supposed to be done in the office ask questions and every assistant every hygienist every dentist will offer you different tips so don't be afraid to ask okay so I hope this helped if you guys 
have another idea for another um, video, let me know because I love to read all of your comments, um, questions, and feedback. So please just let me know and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.